And you're back with us on America's Forum. Also back with us, graciously extending his availability to our program, my old congressional colleague, Congressman Peter King of New York, a member of the House Select Committee on Intelligence and the former chairman of the House Committee on Homeland Security. John? Well, Congressman, I'm glad you could stick around because unfortunately we have to talk about the entirety of North Africa from one coast to the other. We were talking about uh, Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and Yemen. Now we got to talk about Boko Haram, the terror organization that has claimed responsibility for attack or for kidnapping some 300 girls. There, there has been talk, uh, you know, and w one thing we're seeing that's consistent with some of the other terror organizations, Congressman, uh, is the leader of this organization out in front of the cameras. Now, we talked about the president and, and him dis describing al-Qaeda in a pre-9-11 phase. This is kind of hearkening back to that era as well when we saw guys like Osama bin Laden out in front of the cameras. Uh, do you think this is uh, another sign uh, that these terror organizations do not fear uh, the consequences that could come from the United States? Yeah, this is really a direct challenge to the U.S. and, and to the West. And I can understand why Boko Haram uh, has that attitude. Uh, Boko Haram is not as sophisticated as al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, but they are by far the most vicious of all the al-Qaeda affiliates. I mean, apart from these kidnapping of the young girls, which is horrible, they burn young boys, they've uh, butchered uh, Christians in church on uh, 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 Christmas night. I mean, this... Uh, in, Apart from any ideology, there's also just tremendous violence for the sake of violence. And Congressman, you were telling us before, you, you've known about the, the trouble and the, and the problem that Boko Haram presents right. uh, to the United this States for a long to, time, going all the way back to 2009 or 2010, 2011, when you pushed to have them designated as a specific terror organization, but you said there was resistance from the State Department. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we all hearing myself and uh, Congressman Pat Meehan from Philadelphia, who's chairman of a subcommittee, back in 2011 and in 2011 and twice in 2012 we uh, uh, wrote to uh, Secretary of State Clinton asking her calling on her to uh, uh, declare Boko Haram a foreign terrorist organization the significance of that is it gives the Justice Department the opportunity to go after people people who fund uh, Boko Haram it enables us to use more of our intelligence assets against them and by the way believe it or not it wasn't just myself and Pat Meehan uh, you know, Congressman from Philadelphia was also, believe it or not, the, the uh, Eric Holder's Justice Department. Mm. They wanted uh, uh, Boko Haram declared a foreign terrorist organization. The FBI wanted it. The CIA wanted it. But the State Department under Secretary Clinton did not want to. They felt it would focus attention on them, and they also said that it may cut off the opportunity to negotiate with Boko Haram. Now, what in the world? Talk about a pre-9/11 mentality. What in the world ever gave them the idea you could negotiate with someone like Boko Haram? So we lost all this time. Pete it wasn't King, until last November, under Pete, Secretary Kerry, they finally declared them a foreign terrorist organization. Pete, uh, just w only about 30 seconds remaining. Got to get your take very quickly. The Select Committee on Benghazi, do you think the Democrats will show up and be part of those hearings? I think they have to, because I think the in fact, I know that the Republicans that have been selected, led by Trey Gowdy, are going to do an outstanding professional job. The Democrats owe it to themselves and to the country to present their case. And if they don't, they're going to look as if they're hiding, they're running, and they're scared, and they're going to uh, not provide any defense at all for people like Secretary Clinton. Uh, Susan Rice are going to be brought before that committee. Uh, I don't know what they're afraid of. They should do it uh, and, and, and stop cowering and hiding. Pete King, Congressman from New York State, we thank you for your time here on America's Forum. We'll visit with you again real soon.